معكم في حلقة جديدة ومميزة من برنامجكم الوطني نبض الاتحاد ويسعدنا أن نستضيف اليوم سعادة رجل أعمال السيد زين بن زيشان مستر زين بن زيشان We have the honor to have you today Thank you so much for inviting Thank you so much, we have the honor Thank you so much The pleasure is shared So Mr. Zaid, uh, as a beginning, we would like, who is Mr. Zaid bin Zishan as a person and how were your beginnings in UAE country? Okay. How were your I how came you uh, to the UAE in uh, 2014 mm -hmm. when I started the company. And, uh, and you started the company immediately after coming from... That is the reason why I came to the UAE, to yeah. start up the company. Uh, previously, I was, for the past 20 years, I was working in the corporate sector in the com different companies. Uh, I was working in the U.S. for seven years. Uh, that's where I actually graduated from, did my degree, uh, got all my professional qualifications from the U.S. I worked in the U.S. for seven years. Then I am the only son of my parents. I have uh, four younger sisters, but I am the eldest and I'm the only son. Yes, I'm the eldest. So uh, my, I asked my parents to move to the U.S. with me and uh, they did not want to move uh, to that country. So the choice was that I then decided to come back to Pakistan and stayed with them. So I, uh, when I came back to Pakistan, I worked with the Engro group of companies that was the largest corporate sector in uh, Pakistan. So I worked with them for eight years in different capacities. And uh, after that, uh, I decided to uh, start my own company. Why, why did you choose your country to start your company? Okay, company? that's a very good. Like to know the yes, uh, the reason why I decided to leave uh, my previous job, I was a CFO in that company, the chief wow. finance officer, and the reason why I decided to uh, let go of the jobs and the employee sector and become an entrepreneur and start a company mm -hmm. is because of my religious beliefs and religious values. Yes, yes. As a CFO, I was responsible for dealing with banks which were dealing with interest. Riba. Mm -hmm. So I did not want to do that and I wanted to start up my own company where I would decide to do things so which were more Sharia compliant person. and would, which would not involving any interest. Mm -hmm. And uh, therefore I was also looking for a Muslim country to move to mm -hmm. uh, where I can have the best of the both sides and that's where UAE came into place because it's a Muslim country. Uh, we can freely practice our religious values uh, very conveniently. We don't have to worry about halal food or non-halal mm -hmm. food. Yes. When we take kids out to amusement park like Motion Gate or IMG you World, the cultures, the everything which is same like our country. So correct. Not feel worried about being in a such country. Right. Yeah. So that was the good thing. So we were able to have in the culture the same values, the culture, same culture, as well as the UAE uh, uh, provided me all the benefits and the services that were available to me in the US. So like yeah. a developed country, all the services were there, all the infrastructure was there. All the uh, uh, systems were available over there without any hassles, without any uh, difficulties. A lot of things you can do online very seamlessly. Yeah. And that was the direction the government was going in so that was, as well. The right choice for your Correct. Yeah. So I was able to get both sides. I was able to get yeah. something that I was available to me in a country like US. Yeah. And at the same time, I was able to have the same cultural background, same religious value. So that's why I chose UAE to start the business over here. Yes. And uh, that was also one of the countries where my, I brought my parents over here uh, on a visit. They so they accepted that this would be a country they would be willing to move to and live with me. Yes. So that is also why UAE. When you started your business, how much uh, it was that difficult or easy for you? What are the, the facilities you got? Good. Uh, so initially, I was not very familiar with different kinds of options that were available. Uh, so because I was not aware that there are options in free zones, there are options in mainland. I can have 100% ownership in a, as a free zone company. Mm -hmm. So all of these things I was trying to research. And uh, so I came to Dubai, I made a visit. I visited different places, contacted different companies who were business setup consultants. Uh, so I actually went through quite a difficult process to learn more information and then choose uh, the best option available to me. Luckily I found a, found a business partner who was here in Dubai and uh, she was uh, uh, doing business in terms of setting up consulting com uh, companies. So she helped me understand what are the different options and helped me set up the company she over here. An idea. Right. So that was her business over here to set up she business uh, companies in various free zones and mainland company and offshore companies. Yes. So I set up finally a company in Ajman free zone 
and uh, and as part of uh, our services and help we provide to our fellow people in Pakistan is that because a lot of the people do not have the luxury to come and visit Dubai for understanding these kind of processes and information and a lot of people do not have the idea of what are the opportunities available here yeah. what are the options of available so, this is so, your job, let's say. This is so your I help way. my friends or anybody who needs any help uh, from Pakistan to set up a business over here yes. so I help them now uh, and I, the same person uh, who helped me set up the business, I work with them as well. So I refer the business to them. And uh, so I understand the requirements of the clients, the requirements of my friends or any colleagues that are get referred to me. And I find out what is the best option to them. This is just to help out the friends. So I do not charge my fees or anything like that for this. This is just to help out people gather the right information. Because I went through a difficult process for in gathering the right information. So now I help out people. Good. So uh, my background is that I did my accounting and finance degree from the US. And I got my certified uh, public accountant, a CPA degree. So all in accounting and finance from the US. And that was my experience in the US in, in auditing. Uh, so when I came back to Pakistan, I had the internal audit experience, the finance and accounting experience being the CFO. CFO. So what I started over here in the UAE was my expertise area, which was management consultancy and to help businesses grow their profitability yes. and make their business process more efficient. So I saw the opportunity in UAE also because there are so many different nationalities and, uh, from, and, and so many different multinational companies that have set up companies over here. And all of these companies are always looking for consultants or service providers with a higher quality. Yes. So I had that experience of learning all of these things while I was working in the US yes. of a very high quality product. Exactly and high quality services as a consultant. So that is where I saw a potential over here in the UAE because this is a market that is always looking, not just for the average because that is readily available. But yes, they're looking for somebody who can provide them better quality services, which is much more reliable. Uh, they can trust uh, that service. So that is where we came in. So we were provide helping companies improve their profitability and improve their uh, business processes. The, what, what makes us different from other consultants is that unlike other consultants, we don't just come into the company and issue them a report with our recommendations. We help them implement our recommendations so that the companies can get actual benefit from those recommendations. They don't just read about it in our report, they can practically implement that and they can get the benefit in the company. So that what that does is that, that makes sure that when we make a recommendation to the company, it is very practical and it is very realistic. Yes. Because we help them throughout the implementation yes. side. And also get the benefits as well. Absolutely. Yeah, so our benefit is only when the company benefits. So that's how we charge our so fees as well. benefits are relying on the benefits of the, Absolutely. Of the company. Absolutely that's correct. Great. So that's one side of the consulting side. Then what else we do is we also provide provide accounting and VAT compliance services. Yes. So uh, because I have the accounting background, uh, I have the tax knowledge as well. Uh, so we help startup companies, entrepreneurs and small business companies who cannot afford to hire qualified fin uh, uh, financial professionals and accountants. We take uh, the uh, work on our side yes. because we only work with qualified professional accountants. Perfect. So we help them prepare all the accounting we, records. We don't find the, the right stuff to do that 
uh, quali uh, high quality absolutely because it will be yeah. very expensive for them to do yes so, so you are taking the, correct. The, the work from them right and we make sure that we prepare the accounting records in a way which comply with the VAT requirements over here in the UAE as well okay. so, what else uh, you so the uh, third thing that we do is that we help companies and in, uh, uh, in uh, creating awareness in amongst their employees in terms of training mm -hmm. so in terms of financial topics what type of training so we do financial topics so for example today we were uh, helping a company with finance for non-finance professionals mm -hmm. uh, so we do finance related topics. I also do internal audit related you are topics. By yourself? Yes, okay. uh, I am also a certified trainer for the in U uh, Institute of Internal Auditors of the UAE chapter. So I've been working with them for the past four years. Uh, so I'm one of their uh, preferred trainers for the trainings, and most of the trainings happen actually in this uh, location. So I do internal audit, and I am also a certified Six Sigma Green Belt. So I do a Six Sigma training as well for uh, companies. You have multi qualifications. Let's Thank say. Thank you so much. I wish you the best of luck. And I Thank wish you so much. Be all over the world, inshallah, not only your country. Inshallah. So, uh, Mr. Zayed, you explained every single detail about your uh, qualifications, about your job, what you are doing exactly. So, we would like to have an idea as well about your future plans. Well, what you would like to do in the future? Where do you see yourself in the next couple of years? Great. Uh, as you know that this is a uh, country where which takes pride in terms of the peace and security that they provide. So what uh, what that benefits us in two ways. Personally, when we are in a place which is secured, which is peaceful, it gives us peace of mind exactly. about our families, exactly. about our kids going to and the school. You have peace of mind about your family, about your kids. You we just can, focus on your. Yes. Yeah, so we can focus better on our better business. And you can give. And Absolutely correct. So that is so. Keeping that in mind, so we have the uh, basics covered. So we have the peace of mind in terms of the security for the family, in terms of the kids' education and the quality. Now we can focus on expanding our business mm -hmm. and growing our business. Uh, one of the other reasons to come in UAE and such a UAE is, is an ideal place for this is that you can from here you can expand into other GCC countries. Exactly. So we are also expanding in the next two years. What we are planning to do is to expand our services to other GCC countries not just the UAE. Perfect. Perfect. So tell us a little bit how much UAE country was helpful other than what you just have mentioned. We would like to know more how much it was helpful. What are the circumstances and the facilities offered you? Wonderful. Uh, I, actually this has been helpful for me in both ways personally and professionally. Yeah. Uh, one of my uh, weaknesses that I consider is that is not knowing Arabic. Uh, not being able to speak and understand uh, Arabic. So I wanted my kids to get that education where the, in the school system they will learn Arabic so that by the time they graduate they'll be able to speak Arabic frequent, uh, fluently. So that is something that UAE is helping me a lot with because uh, here it's a mandatory requirement by the KHD that all of the schools have to teach Arabic curriculum as well. So my kids are getting that education, so that's helpful for me on a personal level. On professional level, I was used to, I can say, I was sort of spoiled uh, spending so much time in the US, I was used to doing everything online. Uh, without uh, much hassle, you know, I would be able to take, do everything uh, on the phone, go online, get all the information, yeah. submit everything and d do everything online. I would be able to do uh, online banking and everything. Yeah. So that is what I it's was missing in Pakistan. It's time, it's saving. Correct. Yeah. Saving time, saving, uh, save, uh, saving save hassle, uh, save trouble. Yeah. Uh, you can get a lot of information uh, so correctly. So also one of the things which give you the time to focus in your work. Absolutely. So we don't spend too much time in trying to find this, trying to go to different places. We can do things uh, online over here and we can uh, spend more time on the act actual thing. We can even spend more time with our families uh, that way. Mr. Zaid, we would like to have a small thank you message from your from your side to your rulers. Uh, wonderful. Uh, so uh, my uh, thank you to the rulers is please uh, keep the focus on uh, the directions that we are going, which is uh, maintaining peace and security in this uh, country and the region, which is very important for our business growth and business uh, pot potential for the future. And number two, uh, the right direction that they are taking in into making this country a digital country as well. Mm -hmm. So they're make, making sure that the future technology, the artificial intelligence, the blockchain technology, and all of these uh, technologies uh, advances are always uh, being the forefront for this country. They're not lagging behind, they're not following other countries, they're trying to be on the front side. Exactly. So that would help us uh, in being uh, business leaders as well. Exactly, exactly. 
So, uh, Mr. Zaid, of course, you're in your professional life and your personal life as well. There was someone supported you. To whom you would like to say thank you today by our program. I think uh, the uh, transition from having a 20 years jobs as in working as an employee and then switching that to becoming an entrepreneur as a business owner is a huge transition. It's a big decision and I would not have been able to do this without the support from my family. I was initially very scared that uh, since nobody has done business in our uh, family before they would not be very happy about this idea and in fact I was uh, more scared about my father because he had worked with a company for his 40 years and he was retiring from a company. So throughout his life he's worked as an employee. And I thought he would be the most aggressive one to oppose this idea, but he was the most supportive. Uh, so my wife, my mother, uh, my father had always supported me on this. And they said, you are doing it for the right reasons. Uh, and Allah will inshallah support you in this uh, decision when you take this and alhamdulillah I can say that Allah has been very helpful, very supportive throughout every step and the family has been very supportive. Okay, so we also thank them for helping you and supporting you and we thank you as well for being with us today. Thank you so much Mr. Zayn. Thank you so much for thank the opportunity. It was lo lovely meeting all of you.